Hi, my name is Michael Wang, and I'm a second year PhD student in Professor Meng Chang's Edge Lab at Princeton University. Today, I will talk about radio access technology selection in heterogeneous wireless networks. 3G, Wi Fi, 4G, and LTE. These are all common terms for wireless radio access technologies, called RATS, that everyone has heard of when buying a new mobile device or smartphone. However, most people tend to think of these networks as isolated and unrelated. However, nothing could be farther from the truth. In the modern world, many of these RATS coexist. For example, one can switch a phone from Wi-Fi to 3G just by the press of a button, causing a phone to disconnect from the Wi-Fi network and connect to the 3G. The set of coexisting RATS is called a heterogeneous network. These networks can be composed of a large number of different RATS, such as Wi-Fi, 3G, 4G, distributed antenna systems, and femtocells, just to name a few. With all of these different networks coexisting in the same place, it is easy to ask the question, how should my smartphone or mobile device choose the best access network to connect to at any given time? The HetNet project at Edge Lab here at Princeton University aims to answer this pressing question. We have designed a fully distributed algorithm that allows each user to change RATS in such a way that the entire system is guided to a final state where no user can change RATS and get a better throughput, a state of affairs we term predo optimal the algorithm we designed is fully distributed. That is, the decisions are made by users without influence by any central network provider, where we view the RAT selection process from a user-centric approach. In this non-cooperative game, users are the ones who make the decisions to select the appropriate network without requiring any communication or coordination among the different RATs. In this game, users only strive to get the best possible data rates, regardless of what other people get. The two major obstacles we encountered are the multi-rate property of HetNets, that is, that different users may get different rates on the same RAT, and that each user's decisions will affect the data rate of others. As an example, if several people all switch to Wi-Fi, this will reduce the data rates of those users already on the Wi-Fi network before the other users switch. The major results that we have obtained so far include, but are not limited to the following. We have generalized RATs into two main classes of throughput formulas and proved convergence for each of these classes of RATs, as well as for a mixture of these RATs. We have also found bounds on the Predo efficiency gain on the final states of the network after the algorithm finishes. For a more thorough discussion of our algorithm and results, please refer to our paper cited at the end of the presentation. Our current work on this project consists of obtaining answers to the following three questions. First, how can we better adapt the algorithm to noise? Second, what are the bounds on the time it takes for the algorithm to converge? And finally, how can we take advantage of some minimal network assistance in order to converge in a better fashion? For more details on this project or the algorithm we have developed, please refer to our paper titled Rat Selection Games in HetNets, or contact us at mw7 or eryafar at princeton.edu. Thank you.